Hey everybody, just a quick update. I am feeling much better even though I have this eye patch on right now. Uh, the right side of my face is still partially paralyzed because of my Bell's palsy. But um, I am taking pills. I'm starting to feel some uh, twitching in the, the muscles here in my face. So hopefully I am on my way to a speedy recovery. I'm doing great. And with that, let's get into it. Today is May 10th, 2012. My name is Ryan Gregson, and you are watching What's Awesome Today. So you are asking yourselves, Ryan, what's awesome today? Well, okay, maybe not today, but yesterday, President Obama came out and said that he was in support of same-sex marriage. This comes about a week after uh, Vice President Joe Biden announced that he was in favor of same-sex marriage. Now, the way I look at it, I think President Obama was pro same-sex marriage for, for a while. He's been that way for a while now, but I think he wanted to wait until after the election, or if, if he did win the next election, he could, it's something he could do in his next term of office. With, with Vice President Joe Biden's statements last week, I think he had to come up and step up and say, yes, I'm in favor of same-sex marriage. With this, I think it's really great that President Obama has come out and said this, but it really brings up a whole new level of debate coming into the election year. Politically speaking, this would have been better if he'd waited until the next term, if he was re-elected. But now, since uh, what happened last week and coming out now and saying that he supports it, it definitely changes the entire outlook of this election. Because in certain swing states, they may vote one way or the other because of this statement. And because, let's be honest, same-sex marriage is still an issue and a touchy subject in some parts of the country. I, for one hand, um, I'm completely fine with gay marriage. Uh, I'm completely fine with gay couples going to church, getting married, having children. I am, I'm in complete favor for it. I, even though I'm a Christian and in the Bible it says marriage between man and a woman, I've never, even with that being said, I just, I've just felt that you know, it's not right to hold, um, you know, a man and a man, a woman and a woman, from being married because I think that's just wrong. I think it's about um, the, the love and the relationship of the couple that really matters. But with that, now we're going to have an entire new election because of this debate. And I really have no idea who's going to win now. Personally, I thought Ob President Obama was going to win, not not hugely, but just, just you know, get by, like maybe like 52% or 51%. But now with this, uh, with, a, with same sex marriage, and this could be a huge debate over over it in the next few months here. I really have no idea who's going to win now. It's more of a crapshoot now. So with this same-sex marriage, even though I am really in favor of it, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out, both politically and nationally. And you know, what's this going to do for the the election? Now you're all asking yourselves, Ryan, how awesome is this? Okay, um, I'm not exactly even sure how awesome this is for the gays. Same-sex marriage, it's awesome awesomeness. But politically speaking, and maybe and maybe you probably think differently, that this this really is an unknown. I, I really can't classify it because it just depends on every single individual. So I'm not gonna ask you guys, what did you think of President Obama's announcement? Did did you like it? Did you will you not like it? Will it affect your vote coming this election? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys next time, and you have an awesome day.